Hi everyone! Welcome to our YouTube channel, Lian Connect! If you are a first timer or konti pa lamang ang kaalaman pero hindi alam paano mag-start ng pag-design sa Photoshop, this video is for you guys. Para sa akin, this is the basic or first thing na kailangan malaman yung parts ng Photoshop or Photoshop interface. Actually, you don't need to memorize everything. Just learn the basic and the rest will follow. And ayan, ang task ko for this video. Ito yung 5 tools na gagamitin natin para makapag-design ng YouTube thumbnail. To start, under menu bar, click mo lang yung file, new, and it shows this dialog box. Yan. For me, you should know first anong job gagawin mo para alam mo yung size. Usually, ako, una ko tinatanong kapag may nagpapadesign sa akin, yung size muna inaalam ko para no waste of time. Since mag-design tayo ng YouTube thumbnail, 1-800 width by 1-200 height pixel. By the way po, you can search on Google yung tamang dimensions. But for me, I prefer this size. Resolution 300 and color mode RGB. White background. Tip lang guys, if for posting yung gagawin nyo para sa mga social media or pang digital, make it RGB. Para mas maganda yung kulay. Pero kapag mag-design kayo, for printing, mas better si MYK. But case-to-case -case basis naman. So, for me, RGB for this YouTube thumbnail design. Click OK. Ayan na. This white blank space called artboard or canvas area. Dito yung space kung saan ka mag-design. If you want to change the size ng artboard or canvas for whatever reason, you can edit the size under menu bar. Image image size. By the way, may white din dito sa layers palette sa panel side. Whatever na makikita mo dito sa artboard, ay makikita mo rin dito, dito sa layers palette. Eh. Let's start the designing. Under menu bar, select file, place. Then, search po natin yung specific file or image na gagamitin natin. Okay, hindi siya fit sa artboard natin. Pero, okay lang yan. I-resize na lang natin. This time, shortcut keys gagamitin natin para masanay kayo at ma-memorize nyo. Hold control, hit lang sa keyboard yung T, letter T. Select mo control T, then right click, may kita mo na siya. Yan. Pag lumabas na yan, you can resize now your image. Yung mga option niya na pwede mong gawin. Scale, rotate, skew. Escape mo lang kapag ayaw mong matuloy. Pwede mo rin i-flip. Yan. And dito yung mga options sa right click niya. May kita mo rin siya dito sa edit, transform. Yan. Ah, pwede mo rin siya i-resize. Freestyle. Depende sa'yo. Ayan. Naka-hold ako sa shift para ma-resize mo siya sa specific area. Ayan. Dito, naka-hold ako ng sabay sa alt and shift para proportion mo siyang ma-resize. And ito, naka-hold ako sa control. Yung control para babago yung perspective ng image. For me, I suggest every time na magre-resize kayo, always hold shift and hold para proportion. Okay, I think okay na yan. Okay, select type tool or hit T on the keyboard. Then click anywhere dito sa artboard. Okay guys, nakakasunod ba kayo? Kung may question kayo, you can comment down below. Okay, sasagutin ko yung mga question nyo about Photoshop. Okay, uh, type nyo lang, sisig tofu. And, syempre, gusto kong palitan yung font, iron bold. By the way, every time na mag-select kayo dito sa toolbar ng tools na gusto nyo gamitin, mapapansin nyo yung option option bar, nag-iiba-iba din siya. Depende kung yung kinilik mo. And yan yung mga settings nila. Yan, bago mo yung font style nyo dito. And then the size. Okay? And color also. Pili ako ng red color. I-click nyo lang to para lumabas yung color picker. So, depende sa'yo kung anong color gusto nyo. But I prefer the red for this. And then, duplicate natin to. Just hover your mouse here in layers palette. Select nyo yung active object. Right click, may ita nyo na duplicate layers. You can hold Ctrl J para mag-duplicate siya. Hold nyo yung Alt, drag yung object para mag-duplicate din siya. Ayan ang tatlong paraan sa pag-duplicate ng object. Tips sa uh, layers palette. Dito mo masiset yung visibility ng object sa design mo. 
click mo lang yung eye icon to hide and click again to unhide transparency dito ito yung opacity you can set to 0 to 100% transparency depende sa trip mo sa design mo may mga effects din na magagamit mo to enhance more your design dito yung lock or unlock para hindi mo aksidente mo move or magalaw yung mga design mo dito sa layers palette kung ano yung naka-highlight siya yung active object pero if walang naka-highlight kahit anong gawin mo or i-click mo hindi mo magagalaw yung design mo at ayan yung lalabas um, unless you select your object on layers palette or hold control then click mo yung gusto mo ma-edit select move tool or hit V on your keyboard so that you can drag your text anywhere and your image so itong dinuplicate natin type natin in 10 minutes uh, gusto ko ibahin yung color nya tsaka yung size nya baguhin hit letter T on your keyboard or select here sa toolbar natin select mo tong T gusto kong palitan ng ibang font medyo same font sya so yung naka slant lang ito, iron bold expand so kung color yellow hindi siya masyado makita color yellow so gusto ko siya lagyan ng player style select mo lang yung in 10 minutes na word and then right click nakita mo blending options dito yung mga effects ng lahat ng image na gusto mong lagyan ng, ng style for this layer style I want this drop shadow adjust nyo lang noon kayo. yung distance yung size yung spread Zero. distance 6 lang and size 6 lang din the style effects so dito lang tayo sa normal then select ok gusto kong baguhin yung size ng font no. in 10 minutes 32 so ok na tong size na to sisig to 43 hit mo lang letter V tapos in victory dapat sa tamang selection ka ng gusto mong i-move ayan perfect and then logo naman hold alt drag mo dito banda kasi dito ko gusto ilagay yung logo type lang lian font is band f normal lang and then size is 14 okay and then type ko same font band f f normal size 17 and then connect so so next gusto kong bagayin yung font sa balloon extra so yung size ni n is 16 first letter n and then next this 14 and i want to change the color yan so dito yung color select lang yung para lang si color picker and then i prefer this color ffcc and then lian color white and ko color white also and now we were using the rectangle tool so you can drag kahit saan and then control T para i-resize sya so eh, ganito lang siguro so kung bagayin yung color nya so i-double click ko lang to dito sa right side layer panel para lumabas yung color picker and then so kung color nya same ni ni neck click mo lang yung color na gusto mong kapareho kahit saan for example may gusto, ibang color gusto mo gusto mong color block ayan or gusto mo yung color ng sisig ayan I prepare this neck so click mo lang yun then ok so para masum mo or makita mo na maayos i-click mo lang siya yung zoom tool or it mo yung z the keyboard you can hold control and space bar then drag your mouse you can hold control alt space bar then click para mag zoom out control space bar para mag zoom in you can use also control and then negative sign control positive sign zoom out negative zoom in positive Pag nakasum na siya, doon mo magagamit si hand tool para ma-move mo na mabilis kung saan mo gusto. Actually, kahit anong tools ang nakaselect sa'yo, pwede mong magamit si hand tool. Hold mo lang yung space bar. Pero pag nakasum out siya, or nasa tamang size, hindi mo siya magagamit si hand tool. So, magagamit mo lang siya kapag nakasum in. Click na natin si move tool para ma-move natin yung rectangle tool para ma-arrange na natin siya. So, control T para ma-resize. Paising ko na and then I think that's it. That's it for now. Last tip guys. Explore nyo muna yung mga basic tools and simple tip na shinare ko dito sa video para ma-memorize and masanay kayo. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Until next video. God bless everyone. Peace.